Hey guys, Steve here with the strategy session for Wednesday, August 20th, 2014. Again, hope you guys had a great day. Uh, I tweeted out some charts towards the end of today uh, that just basically showed the overall uh, strength that we're, sh we're seeing in our portfolio stocks as well as some others that I'm personally long. Um, so we're just going to be real quick about this tonight. I'm not going to try and keep you too long. And, you know, as far as the market goes, everything is really almost at or, you know, breaking to new highs. Um, the S&P 500 futures basically pushing against the, the resistance that was there, new closing high. The NASDAQ continues its outperformance of the other three or the other two. Uh, again, you know, new high today closed at a new high and the Dow, you know, really pushing, uh, coming close to that 17,000 level and eventually, you know, as far as I, I think maybe new highs. Um, so again, I'm I'm quite surprised at the overall uh, strength that we're seeing, especially how quickly we bounced off the bottom. Um, but you know, if we look back at the last two times the Dow had hit this uh, this trend line, it was essentially the same thing. It bounced and it moved higher. It bounced and it moved higher. So we're seeing the same um, the same thing happen now. Uh, so, you know, again, expect the expected, I guess, is is the saying. Uh, so real quick, through our positions, Apple, new highs, stops 94.29. You know, not much to say about that other than um, besides what was back here from uh, September of 2012. You know, that was the last time Apple's been at these levels. And, you know, today was... We exceeded those levels. We basically closed the middle of range, but you know, not much to do here. Sit on hands, and that's what you know. That's going to be the idea, the the main theme throughout most of this uh, this strategy session is you know, you make more of your money when you're sitting on your hands and not doing anything. You don't have to do something every day. You know, the idea is to let the positions work and and you know, see how they react. But you know, ADM really just consolidating again. Not much to do here. Sit on hands. 4630 is our stop. We're well above that. Uh, so, you know, for right now, again, not much to do. AMT came down, tested maybe this little breakout. Um, you know, again, I'd like to see AMT maybe consolidate here for a while. If it can consolidate between this 96 and $100 level, move sideways for a couple weeks, I think that's an ideal situation for uh, American Tower. I don't know if I said ADM or AMT, um, but this is AMT, American Tower. So, you know, that's the best case scenario. I think if we can get some consolidation, get some rest out of this, um, you know, maybe not come down and touch the touch the trend line, but let the trend line come to us, that's an ideal situation before we break out over $100. APD, you know, again, we talked about this little rounded bottom coming in. I still think, um, you know, even with today's little bit of a pullback, I think we eventually test this 136, um, and at that point we can bring our stop here to this 131. You could see it's almost time to do that with the the, uh, the distance right now between the 50-day and this low at 131. You know, maybe a couple more, uh, maybe another week or so. I think we could probably adjust that stop. Disney, you know, really just moved sideways the last three days. You could see here after the breakout, it's really gone nowhere um, for the last three days. But we had this nice move. Uh, so right now I think it's just consolidating gains. Nothing, uh, again, nothing to do here. EQR. Another breakout. Um, you know, basically came back, tested this breakout level. Uh, and now, you know, it looks like it wants to move higher. We were able to move our stop to 64 on this breakout. And now that coincides with, beach ball, uh, coincides with the 50-day moving average, this previous low, and the trend line support. So, you know, again, this is a great sign for uh, for our position. And really, at this point, we are blue sky territory. If you look at the three-year weekly chart, we've never been this high in EQR. So everybody that's held, if they've held for three years, uh, is a winner at this point. So it's one of the, uh, the dynamics, the psychology of a trade that, um, you know, <clears throat> obviously the more people that are winners, the less people are going to want to sell. Uh, let's see, what are we on? Expedia. Expedia, you know, we had this kind of breakout, um, not really too strong. You know, again, yesterday we had this little tail on the top. So, you know, Expedia right now looks like it just wants to rest a little. I think, um, you know, 
where our, we were able to move our stop to the 79.32, which I think makes sense. You know, it looks like right now, potentially, our next stop level wouldn't be till 82. Um, so we either have to see Expedia really advance in price or let it consolidate similar to AMT and let the trend line come to us and let this move sideways and bounce off that trend line. For right now, though, you know, if you look at the weekly, you look at the daily, no reason to, uh, to do anything right now. Fidelity. We almost had the breakout the other day, right? Uh, actually, yesterday. We almost had that breakout, and today we finally got it. So, you know, you could look at this on Fidelity as a little bit of a, a larger consolidation. Okay, maybe it's something more along these lines. And if that's the case, then our stop at 54.86 is ideal. Um, you know, that's really where we would have to be tested and see that level break before we would want to exit that trade. That essentially is uh, that $55 level is essentially uh, breaking the weekly chart as well. So, again, you know, great stop position. We were able to hold on to that. Uh, we had our stop originally 5471. We we're able to adjust it just a little to 5486. But now like you can see we had new break, you know, another new breakout. So something that we were very close to being stopped out on is now uh, is now advancing, and that's why it's so important to use previous um, support and resistance areas for reference on your stops. You know, we were basically using this low here uh, from 710. That was what we were using for our stop. H and R block. Uh, is this a new high? It is a new high in H and R block. All right. So now I'm looking at H and R block that we kind of talked about. You know, getting in here um, and potentially we would see some resistance at the 33.64 level. And now that resistance is. Uh, you know, we we did break out. It's not a you know substantial breakout, but a breakout nonetheless. If you look at a closing basis. That's your that's your level for H and R block. So with that breakout, I think we're actually going to take and move our stop. We're going to move our stop to 32. Again, we're not moving it much, but we are moving it. Let's get rid of this one. And we're going to make this gray. Show our trailing stop. So taking a little risk off the table. Um, basically, this was the lowest close, this 32 level, and now we're above that. So you know, like I said. We're, we broke that downtrend line. This little consolidation definitely helped us. And I think now if you look at the weekly chart, we broke out from a nice long base. And now we also are breaking out on from this smaller consolidation. So again, you know, move your stop up $32 and let, let the thing work. Southwest Air, uh, you know, this is, you know, blasting off. Um, you know, weekly chart, we always said the weekly chart was an amazing looking chart, nice and tight. Um, you know, I'm sure if you put some moving averages on the weekly chart, you're probably trending above the 20 day uh, for most of the time. Um, so for right now, we had this small consolidation. We were able to put our stop here at 27.50. For right now, you know, really not much to do. There's no reference point at this point to move our stop up. And the 50 day is still right there. So for right now, we got to just let time pass and see what happens. RSG, another new high. You know, again... We had our stop here, at, and it still will remain here at 3684. Um, potentially, I would like to move it to this small consolidation at 3759. But you know, I'll be honest; I'm not 100% sure that that's where we want this stop to be. I'd like to see it, if anything, consolidate, maybe come back, test this 38 level, and then move higher, and then we would have a definite, uh, you know, low that that we saw price bounce right here. I kind of feel like I'm guessing, and you know. That's not really what I want to be doing. I want to use definite support and resistance areas. And, you know, the only thing I, like I said, that in between where our stop is now and where the stock is now would be this low here at 37.50. And that would be the only place that I could uh, really perceive us moving that stop just from this, you know, five day or six day consolidation. So let's see how it reacts. If we can get maybe a, a higher. Uh, a higher low established. If not, then we're definitely going to move it to 37.50 just to, um, just to uh, tighten up our stop and take some risk off the table. And final one, TSO. Again, you know, just moving higher. Not really much going on. I would like, I think, to move our stop eventually to this third or 59 area, but similar to um, to RSG. You know, it just it kind of feels like I'm guessing at that point. There's really no low, uh, you know, similar to something like this or something like this. 
that we had a couple day pullback. It's just grind and grind and grind. So it's very difficult to set your stops when when you have that kind of action. I mean, of course, that's you know ideal for when you're long a stock because you know you don't really have to with withstand too much of a pullback. But it's also you know that's kind of why we had this this uh, pullback in the market. It definitely helped to find some stop areas. And uh, TSO, like I said, I think right now. I'd like to leave it at 57, but uh, you know maybe in the next, maybe over the weekend, we'll change it to uh, 59. But let's see what happens between now and then. The other stock that I want to go over today was General Dynamics. <clears throat> this one is giving you a great opportunity. We talked about this in the weekend update. So there's your support, your resistance. There's your consolidation. You know, I'm almost perfect. Uh, top top bottom bottom you know ideal and again you know if you look at the trend line on the weekly chart trending higher nicely coming we basically came into that trend line and now we're moving and breaking out you know here was the consolidation so um you know we're gonna actually enter a position in in uh, general dynamics let me just verify that this is going to work for me real quick let's just verify that the uh, we're not overweight in industrials I don't think we are come on Work faster. Working. There we go. Twenty-four point eight percent. So we will take a position uh, in General Dynamics. We're basically going to put it in, set our stop at one fourteen. So let's just see what we're gonna get. One fourteen point five. Right, because that's that's going to be that low, and it's going to give us a 7.27 percent risk, and we're going to add a 10.3 percent allocation. So 83 shares we're going to buy uh, tomorrow at the open. Current value. Hold on, this is not right. Oh, yes, it is. I'm sorry, that is right. <clears throat> so 83 shares we'll be buying at the open tomorrow. But I think that's a good-looking trade, a nice industrial trade, and we'll go from there. So with that said, have a great night. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.